The conventional wisdom is that we cough when we're sick to clear our throats and lungs of bad stuff. We think that mucus and phlegm are something that we need to get rid of. But long before we knew about germs, we thought that gooey stuff coming out of our chest was the cause of our being ill. But it's really part of the cure. Phlegm evolved to swallow up the germs that are trying to grow in us. It only works well when it's inside of us. We know that cold and flu viruses are spread by airborne droplets when we cough. The germs actually make us cough in order to spread themselves to the next victim. Coughing is part of the evolutionary strategy of the virus trying to make us spread them to the next host. But what happens to all that goop if we don't cough? It gets absorbed in our lungs or we swallow it into our stomachs where our immune systems can react quickly and eliminate it. But what happens if we continue to cough? We hurt our throats and our lungs. It's like when we have a tickle or an itch, we scratch it and it becomes more swollen. Coughing is like scratching an itch. When we do it too much, it causes more swelling, not less, and more swelling means more pain and more coughing. I frequently see patients in the office who have recovered from a cold, but days and weeks later are still complaining of a sore throat and an urge to cough. When I explain the evolutionary reason for the cough and tell them how to fix it, they are often better within a few days. By swallowing or drinking or trying to cough with their mouths tightly shut, they can avoid any of those colorful cough medicines and lozenges and rubs that they've been fruitlessly trying and get better quickly and naturally.